It snowed before the game, and we had to clear the field, and we were all tense and worried about the game because we, our, our season was we had won four, lost four, and tied one. And BC was the national champs. They had won eight straight, you know, and there were rumors that they were going to play in the Sugar Bowl after they killed us, but it didn't work out that way. Holy Cross made one touchdown after another. By the end of the, near the end of the game, the score was 55 to six before BC made their second touchdown. And then of course the score was 55 to 12. And following the games, we all hell broke loose in the locker room and we, we couldn't believe that we had done what we did. BC was scheduled to go to, uh, to Coconut Grove for, 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 to celebrate, but when they lost the game, they, they decided instead to go to the Statler and they spent the night at the Statler. Some of the Holy Cross players were also scheduled to go to uh, uh, Coconut Grove, but in, they got an invitation from the mayor of Boston at that time, Morris Tobin, he was having a party at the Parker House, and he invited the whole Holy Cross squad. So that's where we went to the Parker House. Many people said it was an act of God that the Holy Cross celebration was elsewhere on the night of November the 28th, 1942, and that the Boston College players ended up canceling their celebration at the famed South End nightclub, the Coconut Grove. A lot of uh, uh, dinners were held there to boys who were going overseas. And that was customary at the time. We'd have a party, and we'd go to the Coconut Grove and have a party for one of the boys. As you came inside, you go up a couple of steps, if I remember it right. Yes, you're right. And there was the bar there. That's right. And then the dancing floor, and there was a roof over the dancing floor that That's would right. open. That's right. And that you could dance under the stars. The Coconut Grove. Uh, all the best entertainment was around at the time. Everybody went there. I mean, all the young people who were dating went there. And, you, and you'd see the same people that you saw other places. I mean, if you went to Latin Quarter, you might see the same people that you saw at the Grove week, the, the week before. The Melody Lounge was a place where young people met and had a drink and before or after a show or something like that. And it was, it was very popular. I really had fun there. And uh, it was crowded. It was always crowded. The whole building was called the Coconut Grove because there were fake palm trees scattered all around in, in corners, which <laughs> didn't mean very much, but, but they were there. And in the Melody Lounge, there was a palm tree in the two rear corners. There was nothing showing. There's no, there's no fire showing in front of the, no fire showing. Now this is the Broadway side. There was no fire showing. Heavy smoke rising upward, but no, head, no fire. So I took my wife by the arm and we went further into the kitchen. And, uh, by, and now we were just about alone. And I didn't know where we were going, but I just, we just had to get away from number one, the crowd, and number two, the smoke, and number three, the fire, which now was approaching. And as we got deeper into the kitchen, I don't know how, but I looked up and I just saw a window, uh, you know, near the, it was near the ceiling because we were underground now. And um, 
there was a table nearby, and I pushed the table under the uh, under the window. I pushed the window open, and I pushed my wife out, um, and I followed her out. I believe it was started when some customer flipped a cigarette over and didn't stub it act actively enough in this thing, which was quite dry, and uh, it, it quickly caught fire. And then I could watch as the flames came over the ceiling towards me and then towards the back of the room. In less than 15 minutes, the fire and smoke that engulfed the coconut grove would claim 492 lives. Most of them died from inhaling fumes of burning plastic decorations. It was the second worst single building fire in American history. At the Grove that night was cowboy movie star Buck Jones. He was among the hundreds treated at area hospitals with a new experimental drug, penicillin. But nothing short of a miracle could save him and so many others. What was learned from the tragedy would soon be put to use in a war that many BC and Holy Cross players would fight. They did learn a lot from the, from the fire of how to treat burns. And of course, with the war on coming on our hands, this become a valuable asset to the, uh, to the military. One week after uh, uh, we had the game, uh, we were back in school, and uh, three months later, we were all in the service.